willingness of the learner taking the things positively that was there means if someone abuses you someone tells the negative things to you but your willingness to t change the thing positively that was co common for everyone and then lacuna in person lacuna in person teaches him suppose you understand this is the demerit in me i don't know this thing and you start learning that thing uh, suppose uh, salk has invented uh, the vaccine of uh, polio so uh, the salk himself has got polio so lac lacuna in uh, salk made him to invent uh, the vaccine and the last one i would like to uh, reflection is common self reflection self reflection reflection uh, self outlet your expression was the common in every situation uh, for example what we have considered i will tell one example by ma madam uh, she was telling about that her teacher to, uh, told her uh, her teacher gave her white paper and white colored ink and t told her to uh, create the picture but she was unable to create it uh, and afterwards the teacher gave her a black color and white paper she was able to create the pattern so life is the mixture of happiness and sadness so if there is only happiness you can you can't create anything and if is the only sadness there is only sadness you can't create anything so that was one situation i told you we all shared all uh, the self experience and uh, this was uh, these were our common uh, findings thank you okay um let me go <coughs> to this group i haven't met you yet hello आम्ही आमच्या गटामध्ये प्रत्येकाला त्यांचे अनुभव सांगायला सांगितले होते परत आम्ही काही चौकटीत जात शाळेच्या चौकटीत जात होतो मग त्यांना बाहेर काढलं तुम्ही चौकटीत जाओ तिथे ना काय जा स्वतःचे अनुभव किंवा बाहेर सांगा त्यातनं बरेच काही मुद्दे निघाले आता शेअर करायला एवढा वेळ नाही माझा स्वतःचा सुद्धा अनुभव परंतु मला असं लक्षात आलं की ज्या प्रोफाउंड सिच्युएशनमधून लर्निंग होते त्या काही अशा आहे अर्थातच कुठेही ऑब्जेक्ट किंवा गोल्स पाहिजे लव आणि फिअर हे दोन पार्ट आहे लवमधून जास्त लर्निंग होतं कम्पेअर टू फिअर फिअरमधून सुद्धा लर्निंग होतं मोटिवेशन अँड काउन्सिलिंग हा एक सेमध्ये पार्ट येतो आज आप मग अशी लढलं का फेल्युअर जास्त झालं तर जास्त चांगलं शिकतं मनुष्य आणि जास्त मेमोरायझेशन होतं पुढे नीड गरज असली पाहिजे गरजेशिवाय शिकत नाही नीड रिअलायझेशन आहे आणि एक अजून महत्त्वाचं अजून मला लक्षात येते की ज्याच्या मी उदाहरण दिलं आहे की नवोदय विद्यालयामध्ये आम्ही आमच्या एका शाळेतील जवळपास अडीचशे तीनशे विद्यार्थ्यांना राईट फ्रॉम द सिक्स स्टँडर्ड टू नाईन्थ स्टँडर्ड सोडून दिले एक दिवस जा तुम्ही सकाळी पाच वाजता जा आणि सायंकाळी पाच वाजता या वी हॅव प्रोव्हायडेड फ्रीडम अँड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी त्या फ्रीडम आणि रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीमधून तर आता सांगायला वेळ नाही पण ते दे लर्न लॉट ऑफ आणि ते दॅट वॉज अ प्रफॉर्म सिच्युएशन रिस्क आणि चॅलेंजेस हे दोन पार्ट असे आहे हे घ्यायलाच हवे तेव्हाच लर्निंग होतं आणि आमचं हे ग्रुप डिस्कशन एवढ्यावर थांबतो सर आमचं सर्व ग्रुप पार्टिसिपंटला धन्यवाद वी हॅव शे शेअर्ड अवर एक्सपिरियन्सेस इन अवर ग्रुप ऑल्सो देन वी हॅव कन्क्लुजन वेन देर इज नीड देन द लर्निंग प्रोसेस स्टार्ट्स Uh, then there is conclusion that uh, when there is problem when there are problems there is need of then learning process starts from interest learning process starts when they saw any successful person the successful person become their role model they get inspiration motivation from their role model and then the learning process start they want to learn more and more when they want to prove themselves they start learning because they are self motivated when there is creativity and to complete the wish of his or her lovable person they start learning the learning process start by themselves also uh, i want to uh, share my experience 
though i am teacher uh, when i was uh, i have completed my 12 years in teaching but when i found that there are many behavioral problems in my students my school students and my own students also the students don't get proper information about their careers also there is need of counseling to my children my own children also and uh, at that time i got motivated by some people so i decided to become counselor this is my learning experience there's something and uh, lot of points were were told but till i'm going to repeat that one first is uh, need ati vyavharik samajik ani kautumbik kadachit mansik garaj pan aste then uh, interest avad aste uh, prerna inspiration it may be positive or negative to accept the challenges navinya cha dhyas ek innovative karnyachi kai garaj aste प्रभाव आतो कु तरी इन्फ्लुएंस आतो को तरी बाबत ग गरज आता प्रेसर आतम सर लर्निंग करते कि फैमिली सोसायटी एंड पीयर लर्निंग कई वे लर्निंग है एवॉइड अनलाइकिंग सिचुएशन्स घरच काम टाने शिक्षण कड़ अशा अर्थाने पर लर्निंग सुरुआत होते न आवड़ा गोषी टाने सुधा शिक्षण होता स्पर्धे शिक्षण होता स्पर्धा कॉम्पिटिशन सा कमतरता दूर करना फुलफिल द एफिशियसिज आप जे का कमी है तो दूर करना शिक्षण होते मजे मित्र ते शेयरिंग करू इच्छित कि कॉम्प्यूटर कसा शेयर ये के ज्यादा एकोशे अठ्याण एक शाणेमदे शिक्षक मन काम करो तो शाणेमदे आम शेजारीच एक व्यक्ति राहत होते हैं शाला कॉम्प्यूटर डोनेट करू इच्छित होते शात आने संगित कि मैं कॉम्प्यूटर देते शाला पन शात शिकवन को शात कम्प्यूटर तैयार अठ्याण्णवला कॉम्प्यूटर मजे खूब अप्रूप गोष होती आनी ती मिलते है मटल मैं सहज बोलून गलो कि मी तैयार होना है मी शिकवीन पन नर मजा लक्षा आए कि खूब मोट क्या मजा मोट चैलेंज होता परंतु मैं महीनभर प्रयत्न के अगर बारह पंद्रह तास मैं कॉम्प्यूटर पर बसु प्रयत्न के शेवटी मी तक सक्सेस जो महीनभरान जेवीं डेमो दिलानी एक कॉम्प्यूटर शाला दिला बयापैकी मैं कॉम्प्यूटर शिकल all have been discussing on many of the aspects which uh, are common to all so i won't repeat them the only different thing which i would like to uh, comment here is the interpersonal egos of each and uh, every person we should understand that the person whom with we are dealing also is a human being also has some egos due to which he reacts in a particular manner in a particular time because of which he is not bad as a person in all each of us should understand this ek samajik ek vayaktik janiv jala mantat ti aplya kade asli pahije ki to manus purnata white nahi to tya prasanga purta tya tacha bhavnatmak udrek asu shakto ani mhanun he interpersonal relation sambhaltana hi bab aplya staravar ya vayogatamade asna khup mahatvacha vatla dusra mudda janavla ki akhand savad pratyekane asla हे महत्वाच है सर्वत शेवटी को गोष्ट करता निजनपूर्वक ती के पाजे आयत्या वे जस जमेल तस हो हिशोबात न करता प्रत्येक गोष्टी जर प्लैनिंग के यश मिलने के चांसेस बयापैकी आमच स निष्कर्ष है थैंक यू कि अफेक्षे सन्दर्भ में संगित तो आम्मी का वेगे मुद्दे मानना आहोत जे आता अपने मानले हैं तो मुत लर्निंग प्रोसेस ही नैचरल प्रोसेस आते कि प्रत्येक प्रसंगा लर्निंग होते जस आता हा सर पहतो लर्निंग होते है एक पर्सनलिटी मन अपन पाल तो ये सुधा आता एक ताज उदाहरण है कि आपने ये कस अपन लर्निंग प्रोसेस घटते का स्पेसिफिक एक सीच्युएशन चत लर्निंग मनता नहीं कारण लर्निंग इज अ नैचरल प्रोसेस कंटिन्ुअस प्रोसेस एंडबरबर प्रत्यक्ष कृतीत अपन चांगल का गोषी शिको आतो मे पर्पजली विचार किया कारण ती सेंसरी जी है लर्निंग की सेंसरी जी है अपने बॉडी की ती प्रत्यक्ष कृतीत अपने लर्निंग करना आवश्यक है तो या लर्निंग बाय डूइंग मनतो कि अपन कि लर्निंग इज अ बेसिक नीड ऑफ एवरी वन कम लर्निंग पर अपन फोकस करते कि लर्निंग लर्निंग का ही इनर प्रोसेस है आत हा स घड़मोड़ी आत हो अपन मात्र विचार मात्र बाहर बाह्य स्वरूप करते जी अंतर्गत जी प्रक्रिया है अंतर्गत प्रक्रिय सन्दर्भ में जर आप विचार के घटनारी प्रक्रिया सतत घड़ती 
आणि त्याचबरोबर इथे ह्या लर्निंगचा जे सेन्स आपल्याला मिळतात आपल्या बॉडीला त्यातून नेमकं काय घडत असतं याचा आपण काही मुद्दे आमच्या गटाने केलेले आहेत पहिलं म्हणजे थिंकिंग प्रोसेस लर्निंगची देणगी काय म्हणता येईल आपल्याला लर्निंगचं आउटपुट काय म्हणता येईल तर थिंकिंग प्रोसेस आपली डेव्हलप होते त्याचबरोबर व्हिजन तयार होत होण्याला मदत होते आपला एक दृष्टिकोन समग्र असा दृष्टिकोन तयार व्हायला मदत होते अटिट्यूड तयार होतो आपल्याला व्हॅल्यूज त्याच्यातून निर्माण म्हणजे व्हॅल्यूज आपल्या त्याच्यातून विकसन होत असतात लाईफ स्किल्स आहेत कॉन्फिडन्स वाढत जातो आपल्याला आणि एकंदर पर्सनॅलिटी डेव्हलप होते हे मुद्दे लर्निंगच्या संदर्भात आम्ही आमच्या गटाने विचार केलेला आहे धन्यवाद तर शिक्षक रागावले आणि शेवटी त्यांनी असं सांगितलं की ठीक आहे आज मी काही तुम्हाला शिकवणार नाही आणि तुमचं तुम्ही शिकायचं आहे काही केल्या शिक्षकांचा त्या राग जाईना आणि मग सगळ्या मुलांनी आम्ही असं ठरवलं की आता आपण खरंच शांत बसायचं आणि आपण आपला अभ्यास करायचा आणि असं केल्यानंतर खरोखर जे काही त्यांनी आम्हाला त्यांनी आम्हाला रागारागानं काही प्रश्न दिले होते फळ्यावर की आता या प्रश्नांची उत्तरं तुमची तुम्हीच शोधायची आणि तुम्हीच याचं उत्तर हे करायचं खरं तर सगळ्या मुलांचा आमच्या असा विचार होता की सरांचा राग गेला पाहिजे आणि तो राग घालवण्यासाठी आपण या सगळ्या प्रश्नांची उत्तरं आपण चांगल्या पद्धतीनं त्यांना शोधून काढली पाहिजेत आणि हा ग्रह त्यांनी जो वर्गपाठ दिला आहे तो आपण चांगला पूर्ण केला पाहिजे त्या प्रयत्नातून खरोखरच आम्ही खूप चांगलं उत्तरं तयार केली आणि ती शिक्षकांपुढे सांगितली त्यामुळे शिक्षक तर खुश झालेच पण त्यातून एक मलाही पुढे माझ्या या व्यवसायामध्ये मला असं शिकायला मिळालं की खरोखर मुलांना एवढं शिकवण्याची शिक्षकांनी गरज नसते तर त्यांना जर आपण स्वातंत्र्य दिलं किंवा त्यांना जर मोटिवेट केलं तर ते चांगलं होऊ शकतं माझे जे काही अजूनही हे जे आहेत ग्रुपमधले जे व्यक्ती आहेत त्यांनीही काही विचार केलेला आहे तर त्यातून एक असे जे काही आम्ही जनरल जी काही तत्व शोधून काढली ती अशी कन टू अचीव गोल कंटिन्युअस एफर्ट्स अँड कॉन्सन्ट्रेशन दिस थिंग्स आर व्हेरी इसेन्शियल अँड टू डेव्हलप सेल्फ डिसिप्लिन टीम वर्क अँड कॉन्फिडन्स विल पॉवर ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड अगदी उच्च शिक्षित माणसापेक्षाही त्यांच्याकडे प्रगल्भता आहे तेव्हा शिक्षण हे शाळामध्येच होतं असं नाही हे मला तिथे जाणवलं आणि माझ्या आयुष्याला कलाटणी देणारं मी जोमाने का शिकलो याचं छानस उदाहरण असं आहे आमच्याकडे भरपूर त्यावेळी होत्या मेंढ्या आता नाही आहेत वडील जेव्हा मेंढ्याकडे जात तेव्हा मला पण घेऊन जात तिसरी चौथीला असताना मला खूप छान वाटायचं रानात बागडायचंय आपल्याला फिरायचं इकडे तिकडे शाळेत जायला नको वाटायचं पण ते नकळत वडिलांच्या लक्षात आलं त्यांनी काय केलं दोन चार वेळा मला स्वतःलाच मेंढ्याकडे पाठवलं साधारण मी त्यावेळी पाचवीला असेल आणि डोंगर आमच्याकडे जसा हा सह्याद्रीचा डोंगर आहे तसेच आमच्याकडे महादेवाचे डोंगर म्हणून रांग आहेत त्या जवळपास याच्या अर्ध्या उंचीच्या आहेत मेंढ्या एकदा चरताना निघाले ना वरती की त्या पार डोंगराच्या शेंड्यावरती जातात ज्यावेळी मला पहिल्यांदा त्या मेंढ्याकडे सांभाळायला पाठवलं आणि मेंढ्या जशा जशा वरती निघाल्या तशी तशी माझी दमछाक व्हायला लागली त्यांना गोळा करता करता मला नाकी नव आली मी जेव्हा पहिल्या दिवशी एकटा त्या मेंढ्याकडे गेलो होतो मी दिवसभर रडत होतो आणि त्याच दिवशी मी मनामध्ये अशी खुनगाट बांधली होती काहीही करायचं पण मेंढ्या सांभाळायच्या नाहीत आणि वडीलही मला सांगत चांगले मार्क्स पडलेत आहे तुला पुढेच्या वर्गामध्ये पाठवीन अन्यथा या मेंढ्या आहेतच जेव्हा मला काही येत नसायचं माझ्या शिक्षकांनी सांगितलेलं उदाहरणार्थ बारावी सायन्स करत असताना मला मॅथमॅटिक्स हार्ड जायचं आज मी मॅथमॅटिक्स मॅथमॅटिक्स टीचर आहे तो भाग वेगळा पण मला बारावीला अक्षरशः मॅथमॅटिक्स जड जायचं तेव्हा जर शिक्षकांचं नाही समजलं तर मी पुन्हा जाऊन त्यांना विचारायचो पुन्हा पुन्हा ते मी समजावून घ्यायचो कारण की मला माहिती होतं बारावी सायन्सला मॅथला आपण नापास झालो की आपल्याला मेंढ्या आहेतच धन्यवाद त्याच्यानंतर माझ्या शाळेमधला एक छोटासा अनुभव मी सांगतो तुम्हाला योगायोगाने असं झालं की मला नोकरी ही खेड्यामध्येच करावी लागते मला त्याचा अभ म्हणजे अभिमान आहे आणि आनंदही आहे मी आता प्राचार्य म्हणून काम करतो माझ्या शाळेमध्ये पाचवी ते बारावी अकरावी इलेव्हन ट्वेल्थचा जास्त प्रॉब्लेम नाही पण पाचवी ते दहावीपर्यंत मुलं युनिफॉर्ममध्ये येण्यासाठी मला खूप कसरत करावी लागते मुलं युनिफॉर्ममध्येच येत नाहीत कोणीतरी प्रत्येक वर्गामध्ये दोन चार मुलं कलरफुल ड्रेसमध्ये येणार काय करावं काय करावं दोन हजार नऊचा प्रसंग नेहमी अधिकारी आले इन्स्पेक्शन जर असेल तर त्यांचा रिमार्क ठरलेला असायचा सर्व विद्यार्थी गणवेशात नव्हते होते असा नसायचाच कधीच 
काय करावं कळना मग मी थोडं नवी दहावीच्या विद्यार्थ्यांची मदत घेतली त्या मुलांना म्हटलं आपण असं करूया की आपल्या पाचवी ते दहावीच्या सर्व मुलांना युनिफॉर्म किती आहेत म्हणजे ड्रेस किती आहेत एक आहे की दोन आहेत का तीन आहेत की चार आहेत याचा सर्वे करा त्या मुलांनी फटकन मला दुसऱ्या दिवशी येऊन सांगितलं जवळजवळ पंच्याहत्तर टक्के मुलांना शाळेचा ड्रेस एकच होता पंचवीस टक्के मुलांनाच दोन होते तीनचा असायचा प्रश्न नाही मग त्यांना दुसरा सर्वे दिला आता कलरफुल ड्रेस किती आहेत बघा तर जवळजवळ सर्व मुलांकडं दोन ड्रेस नक्की होते दोन पेक्षा अधिक होते बऱ्याच जणांकडं किती होती ते खूप अगदी दहा दहा बारा बारांचा तो आकडा गेला होता दोन ड्रेस नक्की होते मग काय करायचं म्हणून मग मी एक छानसा प्रोग्राम राबवला ओ डब्ल्यू सी डी मुलं गणवेशातही आले पाहिजेत आणि त्यांना कलरफुल ड्रेसचं अट्रॅक्शन आहे तर त्यांना कलरफुल ड्रेसही एक दिवस शाळेत घालून दिला पाहिजे म्हणून मी माझ्या शाळेमध्ये आवर वेन्स डे इज कलरफुल डे आवर वेन्स डे इज कलरफुल डे अशी थीम राबवली आणि प्रत्येक बुधवारी प्रत्येक वेन्सडेला माझ्या शाळेमध्ये सर्व मुलं कलरफुल ड्रेसमध्ये येतात त्याचा इतका पॉझिटिव्ह इफेक्ट झाला की मुलं बुधवारची वाट बघायला लागले की आपल्याला कलरफुल ड्रेसमध्ये जायचंय कोणता ड्रेस घालायचा आहे त्या प्रयत्नातून त्यांच्या युनिफॉर्मलाही एक दिवसाची सुट्टी मिळायला लागली एकच ड्रेस जे सोमवारपासून मंडेपासून सॅटर्डेपर्यंत जे ते घालत होते तो त्यांचा घालायचा बंद झाला मध्ये एक दिवस सुट्टी मिळायला लागली आई त्याला धुवून स्वच्छ करून बटन वगैरे लावून छानपैकी युनिफॉर्ममध्येही मुलं उरलेली पाच दिवस यायला लागली आणि बुधवारी मात्र एरव्ही ऍबसेंट असणारा विद्यार्थी आवर्जून बुधवारी प्रेझेंट राहायला लागला ही ही आनंदाची गोष्ट धन्यवाद डिस्कस ऑल दो थिंग इन द क्लासरूम आस्क दो स्टुडंट्स टू गो ऑन द ग्राउंड in that uh, heat and all that in that sun uh, in the afternoon also and share his experience that time he will tell that the heat is troubling me and in the classroom ask okay that heat is troubling in the summer time then what about the rainy season that time he will explain that rain is pouring on my body and all that so share their experiences and their ideas also while uh, teaching in the class it's okay thoughts about your experiences <clears throat> because I'm, I'm quite certain that uh, each one can find something to take to take home to think about from what you've heard or learned or thought <clears throat> or found different from what you thought what we will do now is we will do it a little uh, on the short side because we don't we're running a little bit late <clears throat> we will um, we will distribute to you uh, 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 some pages and on these pages there are uh, <clears throat> Indian uh, Indian proverbs proverbs okay and what I will ask you as a group is to to find the one proverb that you find most interesting most liking whatever for whatever reason that you want to discuss and think take a few minutes and think how you can take this proverb and apply it to any subject matter that you choose okay to one subject matter that you choose english mathematics um anything you like okay um, it could be arts it can be any any subject matter that you like it's okay you understand I, I will say it one more or you, you want to expand <clears throat> we will share we will share now proverbs you choose one proverb in your group that you like and you think how you apply it to one subject matter of your interest with the principles that you wrote yourself because we want the students to have the same experience that you had right now okay not something else so what the experiences you had now right now and the principles okay so think about it will take 10 minutes no more 10 minutes i know it takes time to do a, a classroom uh, preparation but we will take 10 minutes so here they are distributing the uh, proverbs choose one proverb of your interest <coughs> and 
think how you use the principles that you just wrote and the experiences that you shared to one subject matter that you like. No dance claims the stage's title. Uh, means we select uh, one uh, proverb coming in a camel's mouth. For that, we select uh, subject maths. Uh, students are ninth and tenth, uh, tenth standard students, and we are giving uh, for them solving to. Uh, add the two digit numbers as like that mahiti ahe tya mulanna shikshakane vargat jaycha ani bin hatche chi peris kara asa udaharan daycha ani nasta hi angan vakade madhe tyachyamadhe ami ghetle chitrakala vishay ani tyachyamadhe ekhada shikshak sangto ki mala he kay chitra khup soppa hai apan kadu shakto pan atta mala vel nahiye te nantar mi sangto asa manje tala actually kahis mahit nasta asha paddhatine आणि जसं आम्हाला सांग सांगितलं आहे की अशा पद्धतीने सांगा त्याप्रमाणे मी प्रयत्न केलेला आहे थँक्यू ऑल ऑफ यू बरं ठीक आहे कुठलाही दुसरी व्यक्ती यू 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 आर नॉट हँग्री राईट यू आर नॉट हँग्री वी कॅन कंटिन्यू ओके So we will continue. I know that you're hungry and we continue. Hang on, it's not too long. We have chosen this proverb Nashna Jani Angan Tera. In this we have taken the subject of arts. In arts there is drawing, music and dance, but basically the art teacher would like to concentrate only on drawing because it is easy to teach uh, with a paper and pencil and there is less noise in the class. But when it comes to music they will say uh, no no we don't have enough instrument and we cannot uh, teach this music so uh, but uh, we all are aware that music can be created with anything with a 
uh, uh, some glass uh, uh, utensil and a spoon or anything which is available a tin box or anything also with the fingers you can dab and create music so if there is a willingness then you can do uh, whatever you like but when there is not uh, the willingness only is not there then uh, you can avoid things by giving uh, that the resources are not there uh, and this can happen with all the subjects in all the subjects uh, it can apply nachna jane angan tera okay we'll take uh, one more group um, is there another group that wants to share hi man aplyala spashta karat astana mala ek vichar suchla ki aplya kade baryach goshti apan sangto vidyarthyana आणि तो विद्यार्थ्यांना सांगत असताना मग ही गोष्ट मला सांगावशी वाटते बंदर का जाने अद्रक का स्वाद यासाठी एका चित्रकारानं एक चित्र काढलं आणि ते चित्र भर चौकामध्ये टांगलं आणि त्याच्यावरती लिहिलं की याच्यातील चुका शोधा चुका शोधा म्हटल्यानंतर प्रत्येकजण यायचा प्रत्येकजण समोर घ्यायचा पेन घ्यायचा तिथला तिथं त्याच्या चुका लिहायचा आणि निघून जायचा दुसऱ्या दिवशी तेच चित्र टाकलं फक्त हेडिंग बदललं त्या चि चित्रावरती आणि सांगितलं की या चित्रातील चुका दुरुस्त करा मात्र त्या दुरुस्त करा म्हटल्यानंतर एक ही तिथं दुरुस्ती आलेली नाही म्हणजे या मना म्हणीचा अर्थ होतो बंदर क्या जाणे अद्रक का स्वाद ज्या वेळेला तो चुका लिहित होता त्यावेळेस त्याला त्याचं कौतुक नव्हतं की एक कसं काढलं असेल कसं तयार केलं असेल परंतु ज्या वेळेला प्रत्यक्ष सांगण्यात आलं की याच्यातील चुका दुरुस्त करा त्यावेळेस त्याला ते करता आले नाहीत म्हणजे बंदर क्या जाणे अद्रक का स्वाद ही म्हण आपल्याला तिथं स्पष्ट करता येईल okay so we're about to um, close this session so i want to uh, share with you some of my thoughts and i'm sorry usually i don't do it usually i i share my thoughts but usually i first <coughs> hear your thoughts but we are a bit short on time so i will say some of my thoughts about um what um are some of the important things that i believe can be learned from what we were doing and i want to separate it into two basically to two different things one is about <coughs> teaching and being innovative in teaching for you as a teacher about the issues that you want to face and the other has to do more in how you create the opportunity for that to happen okay these are two separate things one is how in my teaching i'm doing and the other is what are the opportunities and what can be how i design how i create for it to happen okay so i want to start a little few things about teaching and here are some some terminology okay that i think will can be helpful to you and i also shared a few two papers two articles that you can read about this by two different people one by myself but the other is by someone david hawkins who is very good uh, science uh, professor from uh, the us who has wrote something interesting some interesting things The first thing is about inquisitive. Inquisitive is about making a puzzle, something that is not clear, that you want the students to learn through it. It's like I said in the beginning, if we give them and we know, we give them the method 1 plus 1 and then we say this is equal to and we say well, finished. Okay, that's the end. There's nothing to learn anymore than just that this is the how things work then it's not inquisitive if we provide a proverb if we provide something that is not clear that is uncertain okay i'll give you two examples not from the proverbs so just so you see that it's uh, it's from everyday life you know how to throw a rock a stone that so it skips on the water how many times it's going to skip do we know 
Why? Why, why a rock one time I throw it and it's going to skip, you know, five, six times and one time I'm going to throw a rock, a stone in the water and it's going to skip once or twice maybe? What's the difference? Some of you know? This is science. Basic science. Come on. It's physics. No, no. They, I'm, I'm challenging you. It's, it's a puzzle. We don't really know. But there is somewhere there, there is a right answer. Okay? But we don't know because it depends on so many things. It depends how I throw on the technique. It depends on the smoothness of the water. It depends on the smoothness of the rock. But these are things that we can teach children. And because of this, they can become curious, inquisitive. They want to know more. Here's another example for you that uh, anyway, <clears throat> in Israel, we like, I like to use this example because we like to drink coffee. Now, how does the coffee comes better? Is it better when you put the sugar first and then pour the black water on top of it? Or do you add the sugar after you put the coffee in the glass? Which is better? Better coffee, of course, for drinking. How do you know? Okay, so here are simple things that we can take and work with children from everyday life, from your everyday life, from their everyday life. And we can make it into a challenge, into inquisitive, to be, think about it like a puzzle, okay? And the second thing, which is very important, which we try to do here a little bit, not enough, a little bit, is messing about, is to give them the opportunity to try, to experience, to experiment the things we said in the beginning, to not know, to fail, to be anxious about failing, to be angry about not finding the right solution, to mess about with your hands, with your eyes, with your thinking, okay? And not know exactly what it's going to be to mess about. That's why when you throw a rock, you mess about. When you try the different ways of working with coffee, you mess about, okay? When you take a milk and you try and see when it comes and becomes cheese, you mess about. This is messing about. These are simple things that you can do. In math and science, you can take a proverb like this and mess about. Like I was talking with a math, you are a math teacher? A math teacher. If we take the example of the proverb of a dancer who doesn't know how to dance, believes that the floor is dent, right? Now, when the floor is dent, is this math? Ah, slope. By the way, okay, so this is in math. Is this, by the way, only in math, when we do this? Can we take it, apply it into music? Probably, right? Because it's a proverb. And a proverb, like proverbs, it can be used in different environments. So we can do something that is messing about, and it's about doing and thinking. When I'm doing, I'm thinking. We always think. Children also think when they do things. Okay, so we want to give this opportunities to them. And then is an important part, and we try to do it here as well a little bit, and that is making sense. If only we do doing things and stuff like this, we stay in doing things. But if we inquire and we say, what have you learned from it? What is it that you know that is now different than what you knew when you started? This is becomes interesting. And part of the reason it becomes interesting is that you, you will hear not a single answer, but many answers. And possibly some questions as well. Just like here. See, as a, as a big diversity of experiences that we 
received when I asked you, look at the diversity of situations and principles that you came up, okay? So if we create this making sense, and I asked you, okay, what have you learned from this? What do you know? All right, when we ask these questions, why, how come, all right? Uh, we begin to hear a diversity, and we also begin to make sense of it. So when we work in innovation, we, it's very important that after the process of inquisiting, and messing about, doing and thinking, we also make sense. We also make sense. I'll skip the puzzling because we talked about it just now, but I want to say a few words about passion. Passion is important. When we were involved here, and I asked you, of your personal experience, you were involved. It was important for you. This is how children also learn. They learn when it is important for them. Make it important for them. This is part of innovative education. You make it important to the students. Even if they fail, even if they make it difficult, it may be difficult for them, it may be difficult for you as a teacher. But making it into something that has passion, I want to build, I want to compete, I want to make it happen, all right? It gives them the energy, the passion to succeed, to think, to be better, to excel, to be better in what they do, all right? And last, which is my favorite, and you're very good at it, and it's a problem, we have to break it up a little bit, is to theorize. As teachers, we move very fast from facts to theory, to make a theory, okay? I asked you about one experience, and everybody, by the time I came around the groups, everybody had the principles in place. Because you, we are very fast in this as adults, as people who are adults, we are very fast. Because examples are not so convenient, because if we have many examples, maybe they don't fit together very, very well. Maybe we have to think about the differences. It's not so convenient. But if we take one example or two examples, and we quickly make them into principles and theories, and you know, it's all fixed. Okay, it's all ready. No, no, hold on, wait a minute, wait with your children, wait with the students. Maybe there are many theories, like on the coffee. There's one theory about the coffee with the, with the sugar before, and one theory with the coffee with the sugar after. These are different theories. Bring them up, make them come to the surface, okay? Like one of my teachers, uh, David Hawkins, which you may want to read, he says, Theory is a square. The moment we put a frame, okay, it's like a box. But we want to think out of the box as well, not only in the box. So we have to give this opportunity to make it happen. So here are some things about the teaching experience, teaching and learning experience. But then there are a few questions and issues about how do we make it happen in a school situation? Okay, how do we make it in a setting? And I tried by example, okay, by the example that we made here, to show you how we can make it happen. We can make it happen by breaking into smaller groups. We can make it happen by asking one group to learn from another. Okay, many groups to learn from the different experiences, from the different ideas that you came up with. Not one single idea. Make sure in your teaching that there is no single idea. It's not good. It's not healthy. <laughs> no, I'm a little bit. But it's, it's really, it's not good. In, when we try to be innovative, we want to make sure that there is diversity and take care of the diversity. So look for it. And also in your teaching, and I try to do it a little bit here, and I'm sure you do it and you're experienced in it, Look for that little duck that is the last one that hasn't shared, that has difficulty in moving forward, but not only because they might be weak or they may not know something, not, not because of that, 
In innovation, it's because of a different reason. Because we may have something to learn from them that we haven't thought about. Okay, always look for these quiet people, quiet students on the side that don't share. You will be surprised how much you can learn from them because they are not given the opportunity or they don't want to take the opportunity. One or two reasons, it doesn't matter. It's important to listen to them and it's important for the group to listen to them. Okay, but I want to make with you a quick test. This is the final exam. If you, look, if you look at this picture, I know it's a little hard. What do you think is being taught in this school? What do you think they teach in this school? You, you were not in this school. <laughs> Where, let's, let's begin. Where is the picture taken? Can you see? What, what, what are those uh, drawings? Where are they? Washroom. Rice, right. They're at the washrooms, at the WC. These are the doors of the WC. In a school in Israel. What, what do you think they learn in the school? Feelings? Beauty. Aesthetics, yes, it's, co it's close to it, yes, it's in the right direction. Okay, something about aesthetics, that's true. But it's not a aesthetics. Huh? Cleanliness. Cleanliness. Possibly cleanliness. But in, in terms of subject matter, what, they think, what do you think they study here? Solar system, no. <laughs> okay, I will make it a bit short. Here. Okay, this is a school that focuses, focuses on animation and cinematic orientation. Now, why do you think I showed you the doors of a WC? in the school and not a teacher and, and animation and things like this. You know why? And this is important and please take it, I hope you can take it to your schools because if we want to make a change in a school, it has to be systemic. It has to be across everything. Even the guard, the guard, the WC, everybody has to be in the same orientation. They have to be in the same direction. If we want to talk about innovation, it's the same thing. We cannot talk in, about innovation in a classroom about innovation and everything else, nothing to do with innovation. It will not work because the students will understand that, okay, there's a course about innovation, fine. We will be a little bit, we'll try to be fun and, uh, you know, and active and all this. And all the rest of the teachers in your school will, think, will teach in a different way and not be concerned about innovation. There's not going to be a big difference for the students and not for you as teachers. So it's about school. The school system has to think systematically, just like this school about animation, about cinematic. So everything is about cinemas. Everything is about animation. Even the doors of the WC, even the guard, even how the teachers dress, even everything, the teaching, the learning, all oriented in this direction as much as possible. So if we think about innovation, we want to innovate in a math. We want to innovate in science. We want to innovate in math and science together in math and science together. We want to innovate in English and science together. All right? It's a systemic change, not a single person doing something differently. Because this is very difficult. We know it. Okay? In Israel, we learned a lot about this. Okay? And part of my work with the Division for Innovation and Experimentation is to make systemic change. Okay? A, a complete school change and not 
one teacher, two teachers, this and that. It, it's hard. It's too hard for a single teacher to do such changes. Okay, so I hope you take some of these uh, thoughts with you and some of the experiences. And next time I come, I'm sure you'll be somewhere else. It will be much better. We'll be moving ahead to the next, all of us together. And I'm sure I learned a lot from your experiences here. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you.